Want to do a quick update here on uh, how I do point and figure charts at TradingView. So in front of us, as you know, we're short Apple. I had done some uh, previous videos showing 145 to 154, I believe it was, downside objectives on the point and figure. So let's go up here to uh, type a chart, scroll down to point and figure. And there's what comes up automatically. I think it's got traditional 1-1, one, one, etc. But what uh, I like to do here, if we go to settings, I like to do the high-low, not the close, but the high-low, traditional. And if a stock is trading below 100, I'd normally be at 1 and 1. If it gets up to, you know, Apple or something else, you could go to uh, a box size 2, reversal 1, etc., or box size 3. That's whatever your preference, but uh, I like to see the 1-1. One, one. And then also, so that's correct how I'd like it there. But then I will go up here to the daily and change it to an hourly. That way I'm catching every movement between, let's say, uh, you know, between 184 and 185 if it happens during the day. So if it's done on hourly, then it's catching all the movement. And that's what I want to do. So now here in front of us, I have what I feel is an appropriate Wyckoff method type point and figure chart. Then we can go over here to last point of supply. Count over here and call this, uh, hopefully all of this is uh, distribution here is what I've been looking for on my short sell at the last point of supply. And again, that uh, earlier pushed down to like 145 to 154. So uh, just want to give a quick update again how I use the point and figure charts. I think it's important to go to the one hour to catch all the intraday moves, which adds more X's and O's to the chart. Thank you.